unbelievable. The country home of the Imo State Governor, Governor Hope Uzadema, is seriously on fire. The mansion in his village, Awumama Omuma in Oru East local government area of Imo State, was seen in a video posted online to be going up in flames. The fire reportedly started in the early hours of Saturday, the 24th of April, 2021. It is, however, not clear what led to the fire. But in the video, there's no fire service operatives on site and about two vehicles have been completely burnt down. It is sad and unfortunate as it is. The country home of the governor of Imo State, Hope Uzadema, has allegedly been set on fire by suspected hoodlums. This was revealed in an exclusive report by Vanguard newspaper this morning. It is very unfortunate to note that this morning, hoodlums have set the village residence of His Excellency Governor Hope Uzadema's house on fire. It is the information is authoritatively gathered that the house was set on fire by yet to be identified hoodlums in Imo State. This is happening a few weeks after the correctional facility and the Imo State Police Command were destroyed. Meanwhile, Governor Hope Uzadima's media aide is yet to make the public announcement to this effect, and while investigation is said to still be on. Measures to stop the inferno is still on as we're speaking. People at the scene are still bringing more information as it is confirmed that the house in Omuma has been set ablaze while praying for peace to reign in the states. It is what it is, guys. Nobody knows exactly why or what is going on or why the house has been set ablaze. But information right now is that the house is in is up in flames. To what extent or degree cannot yet be confirmed as it is at this particular point in time. But the house is on fire. What to what end is actually this happening? Could it be the handwork of um the unknown gunmen who have actually been attacking um, police stations and killing police, could it be their handwork or could they be behind it? Nobody knows because it, the, 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 it started in the early hours of this morning. And another thing is that were there no security guards, policemen who were guarding the place where um, neighbors like these people who were close to his country home who live close to the house or who has their own apartment close by did they suspect any movement did they see any movement that is not right or that is suspicious that could have led to um you know any lead or that were given any lead into um getting to understand and know why such attack was carried out well, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things will unfold. They definitely will be able to investigate. After all, he's the governor of the state and he has information at his disposal. He has resources to also get information at his disposal. But it is what it is. If the house of the governor, you know, can be up in flames, it tells you that nobody in that state in there is really safe. They won't tell you the way it is, but that is just the implication. I stand to be corrected. Don't forget that when the Imo State Police Headquarters was attacked and the Uwere um, facility, correctional facility was attacked, the government house, they tried to enter. So that's to tell you that these guys are probably not scared and 
probably that is what they intend to prove to the government that it does not matter who you are or where you are they can get you probably that is what they are trying to communicate to government officials i stand to be corrected i'm just um you know thinking aloud it is if these guys can be this fearless then it tells you that you know they probably to a very large extent are bent or have made up their mind on how to go about things or what they want to do i start to be corrected if i'm wrong but it is really really massive it's going to be really really massive if you ask me take a look at what is going on as it is look at the way things are happening in the country who do you want to run to where do we go to who do we even um, call so these guys are if that is if it is the unknown gunmen that are responsible that is what we're saying you get the point so it means that they are trying to prove to the government that it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter where you're coming from we can get you and that is what they are trying to prove because i see no reason why these attacks should be successful on you know government structural facilities should be successful if we have you know good security in place and if the intelligence gathering is also our intelligence network is also um very very strong and um up to date it is really really sad and unfortunate one thing these people should know that is that the governor will, will, re will re renovate his home whatever has been bought there he will put it back he will buy it still with the same government money so to what end is this but they probably might have been able to pass the message they want to pass of course the whole building might not eventually get burnt because uh, the, 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 the available fire service is in a worry or probably there might be one in Olu which I which is a likely thing I'm not sure there is so before the fire service will get to that place you know, there will have been a sizable or recognizable uh, level of destruction as it is that would have been carried out. The issue now is how will they uh, put up the fire before the fire service comes? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.